All right, hey guys, welcome to a brand new game for the channel called The Last Spell. It's currently in early access, and I haven't actually played it yet, but it is supposedly a nice little mix of roguelite, tactics, and base builder, which are three of my absolute favorite things ever. So we're going to go ahead, get started with a new campaign, apparently starting in Lakeburg. War. For centuries, the world was engulfed in never-ending strife and chaos. Elves fighting dwarves, dwarves fighting men, orcs fighting, well, everyone. The common folk were bled dry. Poverty, famine, disease. Secluded in his tower, researching forbidden magical secrets, the Archmage, Heronimus <laughs> Teller made an extraordinary discovery. A wild unknown type of magic with tremendous power spells of mass destruction capable of obliterating any city in a single strike driven by the hope of ending all wars he launched the spell on a small village a gigantic dark ball of purple flame fell from the sky and smashed into the town center leaving only rune lifeless bodies and purple fumes the whole royal family of a neighboring kingdom was present at the time. Oh, they, they all died. The king, mad with grief, ordered his mages to research this new magic. Oh, oh, that's gonna... Oof. He made his mages unleash hell on the neighboring capital city. Ooh, okay, so we got magic nukes. Several, several hundred thousand died. Oh, the tremor shook all the kingdoms. All of them researched this dark purple magic. The sky constantly flashing purple bursts, thundering explosions heard every hour. War was no more, only annihilation. There was no turning back. At some point, the explosion stopped. A resounding silence, a strange mist, started to aggregate around the remaining cities. Small groups of survivors started to gather. The mist around them was thickening. At night, they had to defend against attacks from strange monsters. They called them... Clars. They appointed a leader, the commander, and started rebuilding roofs and defenses, a new haven. Most mages were hanged, or worse, in retribution. Some of them, fearing for their lives, trying to find an answer. They found a way. A spell. The last spell. They built a circle of power to channel their combined magic. The goal was simple, yet nearly impossible. Channel enough energy to summon and break the seal of magic, and banish all magic from the world forever. But, one comes the night, terrifying mutated creatures come out of the mist. The survivors only hope it is to fight night after night. And protect these magus at all cost, until the last spell is cast. Loading. <laughs> wow, that is... That is a super cool premise. I really like that. Okay, so defend the last bastion of humanity with your squad of heroes. Exterminate fiendish monsters with magic and brute force by night and rebuild your battered city defenses by day. Your goal, you must protect the magic circle until the mages cast the last spell. You lose if the circle is destroyed. All of your heroes are slain. Position your heroes. Place them just outside the city. The city stash is unavailable during the night, so make sure to equip all of your gear beforehand. The direction of incoming hordes will be shown in the commander's journal. So we got an attack from the north. Uh, okay, so position our heroes. So we have three people. We've got Ingrid, Lorelei, and Uthard. Uhtred. So uh, I'm going to click him. Right click. No, how do I get information on you uh character sheets there we go so let's see to open this all right so ingrid is a scholar he has 
extra mana, daily mana regen, and XP experience gain. Okay, so he gains more XP. And he's good with magic. Uh, he's good at dodging. He's a smoker, though, so he can't move very fast, and he receives less healing. Okay. Uh, next person, Lorelei. She's a trader. Extra bag slots, less XP, though. Uh, she's got extra range damage. She's surgical? Oh. <laughs> and inattentive. Minus magic damage, minus dodge. So I'm going to want to keep her at range then and be yeah, at arrows. Temple Servant. Plus mana, minus damage output for physical and ranged. Uh, so magic user, I guess? Short side it. Plus physical damage. Okay, so plus 2% physical damage overall. Minus range, minus crit chance. Hasty. Uh, plus move points. So he's good at maneuver. Uh, he's a weird man. The Uhtred, you're as weird as your name, sir. Okay, so we got nine movement, six movement, eight movement. Okay, so he's our best mover. Uh, health, 25, 126, 131. You have slightly more, but you're a scholar. 13 mana, 10 mana, 16 mana. Wow. You are a magical man. If you are our tanky boy here, and you're going to be our second line of defense. It's already missed a clock. Fight monsters until they're all dead. Move your heroes and use their skills in any order you'd like. And once you're done, comes the horde's turn. Any enemy within your haven or damage against building will cause panic. At the end of the night, the panic level determines your rewards. Health and mana are not fully regenerated every day. Consult the character sheet for how much you regenerate. Heroes have two different weapon sets. You can swap freely between them at any time. Any attribute modifier, okay. Oh yeah, okay, so I see there, that's that. Great, but the weapon is always blind, even for the weapons that it's not, okay. Heroes available skills depend on the gear they have equipped. Okay, one, two, three, etc. Any movement is cancelable by hitting the button that's over here, okay. All right, it looks like I can't hit the ones that are still in the misty area. Slice and dice that man up. Boom. Boom, finish that one off, okay. Let's have him move back. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we can do that. So let's get rid of these ones. Perfect. Let's, I just hit these two, I guess. Nice. That was a good hit. Okay. Yeah, those ones have minus movement. So if we kill that one, move back to here. That should be enough. So let's end our turn. Oh, there are way more of them than I thought. Yeah, let's hit these four. Then we can do this. So let's just kill this guy. I don't really want to be taking too much damage, though. All right, and then we're going to retreat. We're going to end our turn. There we go. Let the horde advance. Ooh. Smashing my barricades, you meanies. All right. Um. So let's advance her a little bit. Use some movement. Wait, what do you mean your magic is weakening? You did great there. Perfect. All right. Back over here. All right, so your turn. I kind of like to just kill these two. One, two, one, two. Perfect. Move back. Taste my wrath. <laughs> you tell him. Increase your armor, just in case. All right, end the turn. It's actually going, this is going pretty well. Oh yeah, he is using magic though. We're gaining four and we're using four. Okay, which isn't too bad. Uh, land that in the enemy. Should replenish your mana. 
Yeah, this is the end of the mana. Kill those ones. We're back over here. Uh, you are gonna kill that one. That one, just because they're getting too close. Yeah, I know. I, I know. We're all running out of mana, buddy. One, two, one, two. There we go. Fall back a bit. There's a mana potion. There is no mana potions. Boom. Mm, he really can't get himself out of there very well, can he? Yeah, we're at action points. Okay. Uh, what action points revenge for who? Oh, for him. Uh, yeah, do that again. There you go. It's only 14 enemies. We're clearing this pretty well. I don't think we're going to be in too, too much danger. We aren't gaining mana back very fast, though. Not... Oh, I thought the mana regen was... Yeah, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot. One, two, three, four... Move backwards. Uh, yeah, if we don't gain mana every turn, then we're gonna have to go up a bit more. Right, let's get rid of that one. End the turn. Oh, they're going for the city, not us. Okay. Uh, let's go clear these. That is also not who I want it to move. I want to move you. Yeah. No, I don't want to use all of my mana. So let's just clear them with Damocles. I really thought they were gonna care more about me uh, than the city, which is apparently a mistake. <laughs> Boom. Boom. I don't have, he doesn't have any movement left. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to, let's just do some arrows. Hit him. There we go. We haven't missed an arrow yet, which is nice. Boom. Boom. Oh, well, there we go. Speak of the devil. All right. Strengthen yourself. Yeah, it's fine. Man, they really can't get close to us, can they? All right. Blade Rut. Why did I use that? That uses mana. I'm an idiot. Boom. Shoot him. All right. Night one cleared. We've actually survived the tutorial battle. Da, 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 da. <laughs> All right, everybody got to level two, which is awesome. HP lost 27. Oof. Uh, yeah, we killed 48 of those and 12 of those. Nice, so we got all three rewards. So we got 100 gold, 100 material, and an item. Cool. Night one, well, that was easy. All right, so it looks like we're approach they're gonna be approaching from that side this turn. All right, so assign workers to building tasks on the buildings you have built, on ruins to get their gold and materials by destroying them. Spend, spend gold to construct buildings and upgrade them. Buy new gear for heroes and more. Spend materials to erect defenses. Increase their primary and secondary attributes to, to reinforce a strength or alleviate a weakness. Perks. Build your own, own combination of passive abilities to further specialize their playstyle. Gear. Items have two elements that define their power. Level, which defines the values of the attributes and damage, represented by the Roman numeral at the bottom of the icon and the plus X in the name. 
Yeah, okay. Rarity. Adds random bonus attributes to the base item, represented by the color of the item. So can it be anything from a coppery aura, emerald, sapphire, or ruby? Alright, alright. So we have three people to level up. Oh, so I get to pick a primary attribute to level up. Okay, so this is Ingrid. He's our swordsman. Um, slash mage. So I can increase his dodge, his resistance, armor, damage, or movement. Well, considering the fact he has this ability that cares about how far he's moved, this could make sense. Well, let's go ahead, let's get armor. Yes. Okay. And a secondary attribute. We can get 5% extra damage. Reliability increases the minimum damage. Okay. At 100% the maximum, the attack will always deal max. Okay. Experience gain. Crit power, momentum, oh my, modifier applied to the bonus damage of the momentum skill effect. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Increases momentum. Uh, perk points available. So we get to pick one of these. Okay. Uh, potions can now be used on allies. Okay. Fatality, unlocks fatality skill. Allowing to execute any enemy with less than 15 HP in melee. Okay. Extra XP gain. Armor's increased by 125% of the hero's health regen. How is my health regen? 11. Uh, wow, that would be a lot of extra armor then. Let's see. 10, 9, yeah, he's got good health regen, so that could be a good idea. Exactly what does armor do? Particular layer preventing health loss. I think it's literally just, it, I think it's kind of like shield. So that could be, especially since we already got some armor, that could be a good idea. Uh, crit chance for each enemy taking a hit that is not a crit. Okay. Upgrades the punch skill. 25% poison damage. I don't think we're doing poison at all currently. Chance of regenerating a move point for each enemy damage during an attack. Ooh. That could be good. As long as the hero didn't move during this turn, that's terrible. We're not doing that. Okay, so either Swift to the Wind or Coagulation. Let's make him tanky. Tanky. So, Lorelei. Uh, so she is our archer. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go with crit. Yeah, let's increase her accuracy. So let's make her a turret. Utsred, let's level you up. Okay, so we're gonna take magic damage. This one we need, we'll take this. Thank you. For each enemy damage during an attack. See, cause he hits multiple targets with that ma magic missile, so I'm gonna take this. Okay, so. We have production complete. We made a item. Ooh, so we get to pick. So this would let me be a little more reckless. But this is gonna be yeah, let's take the let's take the blue pants. So I get to build some new stuff apparently. So I have 55 gold. I can build Okay, no, hold up. I have a hundred gold and a hundred material. So I can build a temple which helps regenerate health to heroes during production phase with the help of workers. So basically we can use our workers to heal our people. Regenerate some mana using workers. So we currently have a shop. Got the ability to buy or sell items. Okay, and two houses and then the magic circle. So I could get a mana potion. Yeah, let's get this. You are getting a new wand. You're getting new pants. Looks like everybody's base pants, except for his. His pants, he has mana pants. Give me a mana well. I wanna build it right here. Let's build that. So, since I have this, we can regenerate 10 mana to you. Oh my God, that's all of your mana. That's all of your mana. Your secondary weapon is the wand. I feel like we want to clear this area. Yeah, so get me even amounts. Perfect. All right, let's go. Saving the game. 
All right. Uh, yeah. Units are deployed. We're ready. They're coming to the walls. Oh, my walls. <laughs> How dare you? I hope you guys have enjoyed the first episode of The Last Spell. If it's a game you'd love to see more of in the future, let me know in the comments. Press the like button. Do all this, like, whatever YouTube is telling us to do nowadays. Just do those things. Join the Discord and have yourselves a wonderful day.